This is the Odyssey LCD X. And I'm quite sure if I just ended the video right now, literally like I stopped talking right here, many of you viewers without ever having seen or experiencing this in the flesh, pretty much know what the LCD X is all about. It's expensive, it's huge, and it's supposed to sound amazing. Well, all I wanna know is after spending a whole month with this thing, is it worth suffering permanent neck damage and years of chiropractic bills just to enjoy one of the best sounding headphones ever made? So is it truly dope or nope? Hi, my name is Aaron and you're watching Gear Up. Let's do this. The Odyssey LCDX retails for $1,200. I did say it was expensive, and this thing is an open back headphone that means sound passes through the sides right here for a wider natural sound stage, at the detriment of people around you. They will hear everything you're listening to. This thing is a Circumaural Planar Mag uh, headphone as well, the Planar Mag drivers, 106 millimeters, 612 grams for this whole thing. It might as well be 6,000 grams, it's really heavy, but thankfully the weight is spread out really well all throughout the headphone to this really nice soft uh, pleather headband and uh, lambskin leather ear cups. You can get a vegan version, I heard too. Um, and this thing is heavy, even though there's tons of aluminum for the outer casing and the wishbone and also the top here of the headband because the innards are where it's at. The cables are really nice as well. This is a pretty common or generic cable that's used among most of the Odyssey product line. 1.9 millimeter 20 gauge OCC cable with mini XLR left right plugs and a 63 mil termination. There's no app support here, guys, if you're looking for that, because apparently apps and Bluetooth are for plebeians. A quick word about the lambskin ear cup. I'm not sure about the vegan though, but these are so luxurious and comfortable and oh my goodness, they smell so good too. <laughs> um, the downside though is they're not removable in the traditional sense. So you can't unlock them because they're stuck there with adhesive. So if they do wear out, you can replace it but you can't do a quick change, which is really, really unfortunate. For the past month and a half, I've been trying my best to break down what makes the LCDX sound so good, especially ignoring all the hype and cachet that people have showered upon it over the past 10 years. It wasn't easy, I'll tell you what, because most of the time it was, oh my God. And just when I believe each time that I found a chink in its armor, it never fails guys. I pull up another familiar song that I grew up with, like Drop It Like It's Hot or Smells Like Teen Spirit. And suddenly I feel like a teenage boy watching porno for his first time. It's shocking and exhilarating. But anyways, more recently, I also received two headphones on my test bench, the Sivga Luan as well as the Focal Clear MG. And I had high hopes that one or both of these would yank my blinders off and reveal that my growing LCD infatuation was just all an illusion. Well, somehow this headphone still managed to drop me back with the mini details and the hyper responsiveness that Odyssey planar mags are just known for yet somehow possessing the energy and slam of dynamic drivers. For example, classical music. Mind blown, guys. Onstage instruments are represented very well. There's just so much detail and locationality. You actually feel like you're the conductor. So you're not like right in the thick of it like other headphones try to represent, but with the performers facing you. When the vocals in Symphony No. 1 in D minor make their entrance, it's like, I don't know, seeing the Northern Lights for the first time in person. I know it's a little bit dramatic, but that's how awesome it is. One of my favorite songs growing up, Bulletproof Soul by Sade, and that totally aged me quite a bit in it. But I'm like literally picking my mouth off the floor every single time with these things on. Another test song I did was Me Too by Megan Trainer. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's like Megan is right there in my face singing the entire song. It's really amazing. And I would say Odyssey sets up vocals to sit right in front of your forehead. So if you're into intimate listening, the X is definitely your dancing partner. Now, overall, is it perfect? Obviously not. But in this case, all that upper mid energy can sometimes cause certain tracks to sound strained and end up tipping over into the highs, muddling it somewhat in the process. Now, a good example of this is Anderson Park's Come Down. This behavior really shows itself. You know there's a lot of things going on in this song. There's that fast-paced, minor scale, funky bass line with the half-open, half-closed hi-hat, and not to mention the busy, busy vocal lines of the rapping and the constant club scene back background chatter. This is one of those songs that I feel that the LCDXs need tweaking to get right. 
And thankfully, this thing is gifted with plenty of headroom as attested by many owners out there who recommend EQing this thing right off the bat the moment you get it. Now, what about bass? It's planar magnetic, so it must be its weakest link, right? Uh, no. It has plenty of oomph right up to the, or right down to the subregions. It's very clean and composed. Although, if you're looking for more boom in your bass, I would say go with a close back like an LCD XC. This next part was just for fun, but I couldn't help myself with pitting the LCDX with Edifier's Stack Spirit S3. This thing is $400. It's also planar magnetic, but the fun part here is the planar drivers are from Odyssey as well. Now, what I found was that the LCDX isn't truly like three times better than the S3 based on price. It's more like twice, which not just speaks volume of the S3 and Edifier's tuning. This thing is a fantastic value but it also showed me how much more energetic and holistic and accurate the X is. You definitely get what you pay for. Build quality is expectedly top notch. It's not like Orpheus or Focal level top notch for the price, but the moment your eyes gaze upon your headphones presented like in this large lockable case, I mean, just that's so special. Or the way your fingers graze the matte black anodized aluminum outer shell, or when your nose smells the Oh my goodness, the sweet scent of lambskin leather and adhesives made from the tears of unicorns. You know, deep down, that this is a special piece of kit. Let's be honest, the price is beyond the reach of most of us. But for those who can, for those who are planning to get one of these, is $1,500 unreasonable for what it is at this caliber of performance and quality? I mean, if you look within the context of $1,000 to $3,000 headphones, the LCDX is priced well, and since 2013, when it was launched, it has continued to punch well above its MSRP. Plus, for the sake of the argument, at the end of the day, it's a material item. So it's no different if you look at the logic behind someone buying a nice car or a big screen TV. So yes, the LCDX is expensive, but probably, maybe, likely, <laughs> justifiably so. The slider assembly is a pain in the butt to use. It isn't the smoothest, it's ratchety, and not in a satisfying sort of way either. I expect more finesse from something at this price. And speaking of expectations, guess what? Stick on ear pads. Ay 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 ay. Did I already mention that these are as heavy as lead bricks and won't stay on your head unless you're staying almost absolutely still? Which means no head bobbing allowed, no dancing to your music or anything. Being built like a tank also means it weighs exactly like one, guys. And in fact, there's been a few times right when I was putting these on where I felt my neck muscles tense up like they were bracing themselves for what is to come. 
almost as if they had like LCDX PTSD or something. As the popular saying goes, it's hard to put a price on love. And so if the LCDX was a woman or man you wanted to spend the rest of your life with, you'd probably swear by those very same words. You do anything you can to obtain them and keep them. So this headphone, this beautiful thing right here with its sweetest voice has your name written all over it, guys. And if you possess the desire in bringing out the best out of your audio collection or your movies or even your games, the Odyssey, guess what, shares that same passion too. And here's a bonus, each time you have the Odyssey on you, you'd be grinning from cheek to cheek from having the biggest full body orgasm ever, guaranteed. In fact, this thing is so hot that Sony couldn't help themselves and got themselves a piece of that tasty pie as well. Well, that's it for the LCDX video. And thanks to Odyssey for sending this to me. It's really nice and generous of you guys for doing it. And if you would like to see more Odyssey products, let me know down in the comments what models you want to check out or want me to check out. And I'll ask my rep if they're willing to do that. And as always, just like any other video that I do, it's all honest opinions, my own, and it's not colored by the companies who send me the products. Um, and if you like what I do, guys, remember to subscribe, thumbs up if you like this video, comment nicely down below. And remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world because guess what if you haven't seen the news the world needs it more than ever and it starts with you i love you very much peace out